Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my new series on Pretty Upfront Love Bites, a collection of dating tips and stories from the number one serial data, me. Now, just to check, one date a year does clarify as serial data, right? Have you ever been on an awkward first date? You feel awkward, he feels awkward, and suddenly the room goes silent. Well, here are my top five fail-safe conversation starters for when you just need to feel that awkward silence. One, cats or dogs? Now, everyone has a preference. You can't like cats and dogs equally. And the future of your happiness depends on this answer because you don't want to move in together and then maybe his precious whiskers doesn't get on with your darling Rex. I once went on a date and I took my friend's dog with me. And within the first five seconds of meeting this guy who I'd never met before, the dog had pooed like it was a gross poo. You know, one of those, oh, I don't need to go into the details. But um, it was, it did not get the day off to a good start, I'll be honest. I don't advise it. Two, what's your favourite band or album? Now there's nothing greater than discovering that you both love the same kind of music and it's a great opener in potential dates. Also, casually suggesting that maybe you could go and see a gig together is neither a pushy or creepy offer. Now, I have an important question. Who watching still wants to marry Nick Carter? Because I think we would really get on. Three, earliest childhood memories. Now this is a really good one because it leads to nice long stories about both of your childhoods and you can really get to know each other. I'd say perhaps if maybe he locked his brother in a cupboard for days, then you might want to stay clear, but maybe if his earliest memory is maybe his mum reading him a lovely little story, that's probably okay. Now one of my earliest memories is I was sharing a bunk bed with my best friend. I was in the top bunk and I was having a dream that I was in a photo shoot and for some reason I had to wee for this photo shoot and uh, it turns out I was weeing in real life and I was actually wetting the bed and I was actually weeing onto my friend's head which woke her up, my urine <laughs> woke her up. Not sure why I told everyone that story because I was actually 17. Um, would I tell that to a date? No. Four, have you ever done anything illegal? Now obviously if you're a complete angel like me, You've never done anything wrong, but you might end up hearing a really great story and be finding your future partner in crime. Now, when I was at senior school, uh, there was a craze to like steal stuff from this little corner shop. And I was way too pathetic to do that. But one day I was like, you know what everyone's doing? I need to, I need to face my fear and steal a chocolate bar. And I went in there and I just freaked out and my friend ended up putting a milky bar in my pocket. And I knew she did it and I was like, oh, this is good. And then I just walked out of the shop. I know what you're thinking. What a loser. And finally, if you were a tree, what would you be? Nothing like a kooky question like that to shatter an awkward silence. Also, it is a telling way of knowing what kind of guy he is. Is he like a big, strong oak? Is he a, is he a cherry blossom? Or perhaps he's like a fruity peach tree, which I think is a real thing. What kind of tree would I be? Maybe like, like a bonsai tree, you know? They get trimmed and pruned and stuff and I'm a girl that's what happens to me is there any connection there I'm not sure there you have it you are welcome you'll never need to endure an awkward silence ever again don't forget to comment down below and share all your crazy weird dating stories with me do you have any weirder ones than I have have you ever weed on two people's heads <laughs> maybe I don't know why I'm bringing up that story again Make sure you subscribe to all our social channels to see the behind the scenes and extra stuff from me. And I will see you next time.